from probably the mid 80s. Here's an Emerson RC 5810 clock radio with a cassette player. Pretty standard Emerson looking construction. Um, your cassette well, and the cassette goes from right to left. I've never liked that in cassette players. It always confuses me. I'm used to left or right. Um, we have a message indicator. I guess if you wanted to leave a message for someone in your household, you would record it on a blank cassette, and then to let them know that there was a message for them, you would press that. They would then, I guess, rewind the cassette, play the message, and maybe turn this off to show they heard it. You have your radio um, station scale, your clock, and if alarm one is set, that left button will be lighted. And if alarm two is set, that right button will be lighted. And if they're both set, they will both be lighted. And I do have one set on alarm one, so just so we can hear what the buzzer sounds like. Um, let's see here. Up on top we have our standard cassette controls. A small speaker back here. We have, you can set the radio or buzzer, the alarms, dimmer, low and high. Your function selector, FM, AM, or tape. And your main power switch, on, off, or auto for uh, sleep to music or wake up to alarm and you have your volume control up here and your station selector over here um, nothing too much on the bottom there's a spot for a 9 volt battery but I can't really determine what good it is uh, when I unplugged it it did not keep the time and of course you can't listen to it on that 9 volt battery by itself apparently I've got made in Hong Kong here and some various quality stickers and let's see on the back is a mono earphone jack and that's pretty much it so let's uh, let's play a tape we're on tape let's turn it on you probably know what's coming don't you if you're a long time viewer of the channel. This is our walker's tape. It does not automatically stop on fast rewind or forward, only on play. So we still have to depress that. Welcome to the world of fitness walking and the GNC Walker's Diet. Before you begin your walk, make sure you have completed the stretching exercises as demonstrated in the chart that accompanies this tape. Ready to go? All right. So at least the main set functions work. Reverse. And stop. Let me eject that. I'm going to have to look around for a blank tape to see if we can do some recording on it. Um, what does the buzzer sound like? Let's see where we've got an alarm there. And let's put it on auto. The alarm one is set. And we want to do the time here. That's our buzzer. Both one and two sound the same, I think.
can't stop. Okay, let me try and find a blank cassette here. Give me a minute. Okay, I found what I think is a blank tape. Put in there. And have our radio. As always, I think I'm on music, so I won't be able to play much. But let's press play and record. And we'll see if I'm going to get anything. There was kind of a noisy mechanism there at first, like it was dry or something. I don't know what it'll sound like afterwards. Um, I guess we'll find out, won't we? So, let's stop it, rewind it, put this on tape. It only automatically powers down when it's in play, not in reverse or fast forward. Looked like 15 minutes. Went home, took a little nap. I woke up and I could see the TV that night. I was back to work. I had the surgery on a Friday. I was back to work on Monday. Thanks to the great care and concern from the folks at TLC, you'll get the same treatment. When you call 888-272-EYES for a free consultation to find out if you're a LASIK candidate with TLC, 888- Okay, so I guess I just recorded a commercial, didn't I? Let's uh, rewind that. And try the microphone and we'll pretend we're making a little message for our message indicator okay I'm testing the condenser microphone and the recording voice recording capabilities of the Emerson RC5810, a recent estate sale purchase. And let me stop here and talk about one of the things that really irritates me. I go to lots of estate sales when they have them, and the estate sale where I bought this at, there was some goofus in front of me who was arguing the price of something he wanted to buy and saying it was too expensive. And he was pulling out his phone and trying to show eBay prices. And if I was the attendant there. I would just have told him to get out. If you want to buy on eBay, buy on eBay. But he was sh showing things and then he was trying to say, well, look, it only costs this as a, as a buy it now. And the guy, the attendant was really polite and he tried to show him yes, but there was shipping and you have to wait and you don't get to try it. And uh, I wouldn't have had that patience. These people who want to do eBay, if you want to buy on eBay, buy on eBay. If you're going to an estate sale, don't sit and bicker with everybody. You're holding up the line and you're doing all that other stuff. So, that really, really bugs me. Because we ended up waiting in line a long time behind that guy. He should have just thrown him out. Told him to go buy it on eBay if he didn't like the price. Alright, enough of that rant. I don't do those very often, do I? Rewind. Watch, none of the rant came out. and I won't do it. I won't re-record it like that. Okay, what are we doing here? Okay, I'm testing the condenser microphone and recording voice recording capabilities of the Emerson RC5810, a recent estate sale purchase. And let me stop here and talk about one of the things that really irritates me. I go to lots of estate sales when they have them. And the estate sale where I bought this at, there was some goofus in front of me who was arguing the price of something he wanted to buy and saying it was too expensive. And he was pulling out his phone and trying to show eBay prices. And if I was the attendant there, I would have just told him to get out. If you want to buy on eBay, buy on eBay. But he was sh 
showing things, and then he was trying to say, well, look, it only costs this as a, as a buy it now. And the guy, the attendant, was really polite. He tried to show me yes, but there was shipping, and you have to wait, and you don't get to try it. And uh, I wouldn't have had that patience. These people who want to do eBay, if you want to buy on eBay, buy on eBay. If you're going to an estate sale, don't sit and bicker with everybody. You're holding up the line. You're doing all that other stuff. So that really, really bugs me. Because we ended up waiting in line a long time behind that guy. He should have just thrown him out. Told him to go buy it on eBay if he didn't like the price. All right, enough of that rant. I don't do those very often, do I? Okay, well, let's see. I don't remember if I've done everything. If I've we've done voice recording, what well, was supposed to be music recording, but it was a commercial. Um, let's see here. Did we play the AM dial? Not that there's much on it. Sports. A seamless mortgage experience across America. All kinds of articles of what God is doing. Religion. My Latino station. Top of the dial, so I won't be getting anything else. Well, I probably have forgotten to demonstrate something. Um, just kind of the way it goes. Well, there is a small speaker in here. I think it's two and a half inches. But anyway, that has been the Emerson RC5810 from maybe in the early to mid-1980s. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.